I wanted to help you guys. I get a lot of questions sometimes on, you know, how do I gentle up a goat or tame up a goat that's pretty wild or scared. Um, and these guys are Slicks Genetics, um, super, super well-bred. I'm super excited about them. Um, and these guys have been taken care of like a, a lot of bottle-fed breeders take care of them. They don't spend any time with them. They just kind of put the feed bucket over the fence and they throw some hay to them and they really don't spend a lot of time laying hands on. So when they're little, they're still like this little guy. He's, he's really loving and cute and he's in your pocket. But these guys are you know, six, seven months old and they're scared. Um, two of them are still kind of gentle and two of them are kind of scared. But the other thing that's happened with these guys, before we got them, we got them, they banded them and then they uh, gave them CD&Ts. So they haven't been caught or pet or loved on. Then a human came in, caught them, hurt them, gave them a shot, caught them, tied a noose around their balls, hurt them again. And now they think humans are dangerous. So we're gonna kind of try to go in. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna take a goat like this and by doing what I'm gonna do right now, over the next four or five days to two weeks, I'll have a goat just as gentle and loving, as patient as, as any other goat, almost always. Sometimes they'll be a little standoffish, but these guys will gentle, gentle right up and they'll be in your pocket and you know they're bottle fed, so they had kind of that core stuff in the beginning. Um, but I'm gonna show you. So these two over here are the two that are really scared. These two are in the in middle and this guy just won't leave me alone and whines when we leave and everything else. So let's head in here. I'm gonna show you what I do. This guy's scared to death, but he, I have spent some time with him. The other one's already run in there. He's run in there. So now I have a place I can kind of capture him. And this is one of the keys. So go ahead and film from back here because I want you guys to see how they interact. So you'll see right now, they're seeing whether they can get out or not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna approach in where they don't have an option to get out. And I'm just gonna keep everything really slow and talk calm and, and love on them. So, hey boy, hi, hi, good boy, good boy, hi good boy. I'm just gonna kind of let them, let me get used to them. Reach out and touch them. See, they're kind of in this predator thing that they do where they just freeze up. This goat's more scared of than this one. I've been working on him just a little bit today. See, everything's nice and slow. Normally I wouldn't be talking this loud. It'd be kind of just nice and gentle. See how he's kind of moving while I'm petting him? He is less scared, but if I gave him room, he would try to run out. So I'm gonna kind of let him move just a little bit. Come here, pal. Come here. There we go. I'm gonna get this guy's head out from behind here. Hi, pal. I'm just gonna start laying some love on him. Good boys. So this guy's still in petrified mode. So we're gonna slide up a little bit closer. Okay, come to him. Okay, so do you see when I'm touching him here on his side? He's, he's closing his eyes just a little bit. So every now and then, <laughs> our little in the pocket dude is messing with my camera gal, Trisha. So, <laughs> So he's, he still hasn't really looked around yet. Wow, okay, move his head a little bit. Come this way. My guess is the first chance he gets a chance to bolt and he sees his open path, he's still gonna try. That is huge progress right there. That's a good boy. Yeah. That's a good boy. <laughs> so his head is moving around. That's the first time I've interacted with him where he's had, he's starting to move his head around. He's not in full freeze up mode. So you give me about five more of these sessions with him. Okay, see how see how he's looking around? So see how he's gone from freeze up mode to now he's actually kind of with himself enough to kind of look around. You know, with these little guys, the key is that, you know, you can't get into that whole chase mode or then you're just a predator again, right? So you really want to eliminate the chase part of this equation. Um, right now he's he's submitting right he doesn't have a way to really he, he, he's okay he's kind of okay he prefers not to be this close he's kind of gone down into into freeze up mode again um, but not horrible let's move him back over see if I can bring him into my bubble again hey my bubba I just got boy so did you see how he just looked up for a chance to bolt so he feels safer when he's over there. So I'm gonna pull him back into here again. So we're, we're just gonna let him lay right here with me. Huh. 
and he's not comfortable yet. He's still kind of just, this is not where he wants to be right now. But he, he's learning that I'm not dangerous. I don't have any ill intent for him. And the more and more I do this, and I, and he realizes that this is a process of me just doling out love, which he likes. He, he likes to be pet. You can see that his little soft spot, he likes his cheeks. He likes this. He's kind of bucky, so his, his fur's all gummy, and you know, he's just, he just, oh. So that's a lean in. He's liking that. He's giving me a clue that that feels good. So there's a lean into that too. He doesn't like his ears touched, but he likes the edge of them. Ooh, was that a burp? Are you gonna start chewing your cud? Are you that comfy? Mm -hmm. Now I predict when I let him up, he's gonna kind of do the scamper mode. So let's just do a little test here. Let's just take our hands off him and see if he'll just hang out. No? So that's kind of your cue. So there it is. So once I let him go, he wanted out. So that meant he was still just dealing with me. My guess is he'll be sitting on my lap and potentially kind of trying to fight like this guy is to be a part of the show. But these little enclosures um, are the way and the key to catching them, not having the chase thing go on that makes them even more scared of you. And you really need to limit how much vet activity, shots, worming, um, in fact, we did just worm them as well. So these guys all got like three impactful negative interactions with, with human beings. And so I suggest you just keep it really super light and loving and you keep it fun and catch them as fast as you can and love them up. That's how you love up a goat and get them to comply and then they're not so scared of you. So I hope that's helpful at goats.com. Bye. Bye.